an update on the snow, and look, all flights are canceled, and this is only Tuesday afternoon, and they said tomorrow it's going to snow again. And I saw, I saw a car, it was stuck. It was stuck in this route. Somewhere over there, a car got stuck and couldn't go to its garage, so it was stuck there, and, and there was a big traffic jam. And that must have happened. A roof. Doesn't look like a roof to me. It's actually the roof. This is the roof. And look, cars are too slow to go. Look, a snow shovel over about there. See? But, you know, um, in school you have recess. We went out and there's too much snow. So we had to dig, dig with our hands, or like our gloves, we had to dig, 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 dig. and everybody came late, everybody, everybody came late, and it was like a blizzard in the morning, like a blizzard, and so usually my mom drops me off to school, but it was such a bad condition that my dad had to drive me to school, it doesn't usually happen. But look, there's there's no there's no here. It it's weird, and I can actually feel the coldness on here. Ow! And people are getting frostbite, and people are having big bites of snow, like throwing snow in the face. So that's really happening a lot. And slipping, slipping, sliding, and now lots of cars have like collided. And I've heard yesterday someone died in this weather and so I'll tell you about this so I'll tell you how this started all this disaster in just like one or two days so one week ago it was snowing just like this in Alaska in Alaska it was snowing just like this just like this then the that the snow the snow from Alaska it was snowing so hard in Alaska a week ago, then the snow it traveled more south, and then it reached, and then it reached BC. So it started to snow in BC. Then, like there are new records of snow in November. Then it came to Alberta, and then it was just spreading everywhere. Then it's then I and I think uh, in a few days it will go to Ontario. Then it will spread everywhere else. So it started in Alaska, and I think it's gonna end in Ontario. And and this it's, this is just a start. Tomorrow it's more than a disaster, and our screens are red, like. And the internet is uh, down. The internet's down, so I might delay uploading this. I might delay, yeah, because the internet and you know YouTube. Those internet things. So the internet is like not good. I'm happy I have TELUS because, okay, when I was like three years old, we had Bell. And when we had Bell, if it snows and we have like the Bell, then what happens is if it snows, the screen does not work. The TV does not even work. Oh, truck? Hmm, I think the truck's there for the snow. Because I haven't seen a truck like this, right, like, before. That guy is driving a truck. I, th I think it's something to do with snow. Because I haven't seen a truck like that. Mysterious. Yeah. Oh, look. Car covered in snow. Dun, dun, dun. Look. Like, okay, there's snow. There's snow everywhere. Like, there's snow everywhere. It's, it's uh, like everywhere, and I'm sweating, because snow melted on my head. Because, like, you jump in the snow, so snow goes on your head, and also your face. See, it's like, okay, you have a fight with somebody, they throw snow at you, it either goes in your head or your face. Because nobody just throws it on your body or your snow pants, because... That does nothing.
because it just falls off. They want to be more like dangerous, like your face or your hair. Okay, yeah, you have long hair, then it's more likely to get your hair covered in snow. Uh, once the snow gets on your hair, it it's like your it's like sprinkles or sparkly sprinkles, like those things. The it's like they're on your head. They're sprinkled onto your head. That's what it feels like. And yeah, then it just shines. But I uh, um yeah, that's what would happen if snow goes on your head. It would be like like those sprinkly things on your head, like those things. Like, okay, a dress, those dresses with those sparkles, the, those, yeah, that's, that's what snow would look like if it goes on your hair. But if it's like a big pack of snow that goes on your hair, that's, uh, yeah, that won't shine. It might melt. And, yeah, look, it's, it's too dangerous to open this. See, you can open this by pulling here, but I can't, um, because then the blizzard goes inside. <laughs> I feel warm in here. Yeah, stay in your houses, people. Stay in your houses. Um, I went to school today. Like, okay, I could go in the snow with my snow pants, and everybody brings snow pants to school today, because nobody would not bring snow pants. In this weather. Because, like, okay, it was snowing for the whole day. Then it, it start, it stopped, like, right now. But it started, like, in the morning, early morning. And doesn't it feel like, like, maybe, like, mid-January? Or, like, mid-December? It's something like that. Because those are the very cold times. Look, it's, yeah, some cities have new records, because you would see why they would have new records. So, look, hey, there's one leaf. That's weird, there's a leaf. Hmm, that's weird. There's a leaf. There, there are one or two leaves left on some trees, but some trees have none. No leaves. Okay, when you say there are no leaves and there are actually one or two leaves on a tree, it's, it's kind of weird. Like, there's still one or two leaves hanging on a tree. Like, they died, but why aren't they falling? Yeah, and like... I, I can't say anything. It's so much snow. This is like the usual, you know, this is how much snow that would happen in Antarctica. You know, in the, maybe in the, like, okay, maybe the summertime or the springtime, this is what happens in Antarctica. But like two times worse than this happens in Antarctica. And the winters in Antarctica, oh God, they're worse. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.